it's your motherfucking boy, motherfucking Shane, and your motherfucking girl, motherfucking Celia. And as you can see, we're on the ferry. We're just leaving Zanzibar. Cameron's testing the car, see if it moves. Uh, we're about to start our adventures. Uh, Cameron, have you been in a vlog before? No, yeah, first time. Yes, dude. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna walk around Stone Town for a bit, and then we've got uh, 14 hours, and we'll probably arrive in Dar es Salaam. And then the road trip begins. So, peace. There's the watertight door closing. Guess where our car is? On the other side. <laughs> so tempting to run across those. Thank you. Boy Shane, uh, we just got off the ferry. It's what time is it? six in the morning. Six, six thirty. Twenty past. Twenty past six in the morning. And obviously we're a bit stuck at this immigration import section and we don't have the right documents so I reckon we're going to have to grease a few palms to get through. Um, Overall journey was good. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Someone slept about nine hours. I slept about nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> mm, and then we're off to the Hughes' house uh, for the day slash night, going to prepare ourselves for the long journey ahead. It's peace. Alright. Okay guys, so um, we have a slight snag, which means that we have to divert our road trip and go straight to Horo Horo, which is uh, meant to be where we are finishing. Uh, it's all this paperwork stuff, yeah, you know, I won't bore you with the details. But uh, we're still positive, although Cameron was in such a foul mood when we left. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm joking, I was in a foul mood. Um, but we had a shower, we got uh, revitalised. Um, so shout out to the Hughes's. Shout out to the Hughes's, we needed that. Thank you, Alex. Um, and now we are on our way. We've seen those cool cows with those really long horns. I'll try to catch it for the vlog later. Anything to say, guys? This is the uh, penthouse Mark, suite, guys. Hi, I'm to be welcome to my crib. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. This is in Zambia. It's a bit small. It's broken bed. Broken beds. Wait, the mirror is that? Mirror is good if you do your hair. I think I've just got five shards of my finger there. <laughs> Wait till you see the shower, though. Come this way. <laughs> this MTV crib? Yeah. You got a toilet in yours. Just on the screw a little bit. Nice. Do you want those fancy showers that comes from the side? Look at this flash. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> okay, folks. Um, we have sorted everything and we are on our starting our journey. We've left uh, Aruj. No. Oh, Tanga. Tanga. Bought all our goods. We didn't get a mattress, so I don't know what the sleeping arrangement's gonna be like tonight, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Um, and yeah, we're about to start our journeys. How is everyone feeling? Oh. One word to describe yourself. Sweaty. Sweaty. Exciting. Exciting. Excited, excited as well. Wow, okay. So we're not feeling that creative today, but I'm sure. Hot, it's been hot. <laughs> it's really hot. Um, Please.
boy. Yeah, new format. Uh, so this is the morning of our first uh, camping trip. Adding popcorn for breakfast. I'm not sure if I showed you. Tent, pretty dope. Oh yeah, I'll show you the sleeping arrangement. This is our sleeping arrangement. Okay, so Harry and Celia had a pillow and a sleeping bag each. Cameron and I got mattresses, so we only had kikois. But obviously my mattress was depleted within five minutes, so I definitely got the worst deal. Just sleeping cold with one kikoi in, it was rough. But feeling fresh this morning. I go for a swim in the river. Later. First night in the hot springs. Sun hasn't come up yet. Got the fire going. Monkeys are out. Tourists arrived soon. Tourists arrived soon. Had you guys sleep? Yeah, alright. Much better than the night before. Yeah, alright. This place is absolutely rammed yesterday. Like when we arrived, there was about. 200 people here. Now yeah. it's just us, the scurry, the monkeys, and every empty food store. You should show them the water as well, it's now crystal clear. Oh, yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, you got some hot springs. Well, it looks a bit better when the sun's up, but it's pretty cool.
What's up guys, it's your boy Shane. So we found this uh, camp that we were looking for and it turns out it's this really upmarket hunting lodge where people come and we asked the guy and he said that they hunt leopard, elephant and shit. So when we turned up covered in dirt in our rusty wagon. No shoes on. No shoes on, literally covered in dirt. They were a little bit surprised and they were like, wait, what the fuck? We had to go through all this stuff. But eventually they just let us. They let us stay for free. Let us stay for free in the car park, set up the tent. Right, then we're allowed to build a fire and we're allowed access to um, one of the tents to wash and shower and all that. This place is super nice, the we'll greatest and, view ever, but we'll try and, spooky. try and hit you up with a, with a view tomorrow, know how much the followers want to hear that, want to see that, so. Yeah, and if we uh, manage to go hunting with them, I'll try to bag a lion for you guys. I know you love it. Peace. It's your boy Shane. It's amazing. <laughs> okay guys, so we had a good night's sleep in this hunting lodge and now we are about to start off our journey to Old Dono Lingo. Can you flip the the No, you have to over yonder. That one or oh, that one. It's my finger. <laughs> it's fucking stopping. guys um it's your fucking boy shane so we uh just woke up well i woke up yeah the time is you wouldn't believe it earliest start ever it's 11 o'clock p.m i it's just been on wait this whole time buzzing and we're about to set off on our journey to climb old um and oh, god the pine is a uh, dragon up there yeah five while we were sleeping harry had the chance to Right. Speak to a couple of Maasai about what we can expect up there. So, sounds like we're gonna have some pretty hazardous situations to deal with. Yeah. Apparently, we need gloves. Um, we brought none of the right equipment, basically. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully, it doesn't rain because yeah. no one's got waterproofs. Yeah. What we found here is that it like it's boiling hot all the time until about a window from like about four three, yeah, three, three thirty five. to like five five o'clock. It gets freezing, and so we're gonna climb up this active volcano. In the cold, that's why they send you up at this time, is because apparently it's stinking hot, but it's bubbling lava occasionally underfoot. Yeah, yeah, you can hear bubbling and popping the whole way up. So, so we're planning on making the summit at 6 a.m. to watch the sunrise. Celia, any words? Um, no, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, boys, turn off. Mama jams. Um, so we've walked for about an hour and forty-five. An hour and forty-five minutes. Oh, and I sure tell you what, it's <laughs> fucking hard. It's so difficult. Honestly, it makes you re rethink all the talk beforehand. We talked about like lava and and like steep ravines. Just completely forgot to talk about the fact that it's a six-hour walk up a fucking mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, jump off. I'd be happy at jumping off. It's, right it's so long. Honestly, we realised we've packed. Two banana, three, <laughs> three bananas. two bananas, a couple of eggs, and some popcorn. 
No, it's just not sufficient to could be, energize. Could be the worst. Especially when oh, Celia right. doesn't like bananas or eggs, so she's surviving on popcorn, oh, which is 90% air. So dumb. <laughs> Serious low point right now. <laughs> she's pretty high point, but So we've got four hours to go. My back's literally the time is 1 1.50 a.m. It's cold now. I actually feel my lower back. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, signing off for now. Why not come back? <laughs> What's up, folks? Five it's daytime. Minutes Five minutes with Summit. So we're going to be walking up there. As you can see, we've got Mars behind us. Six o'clock. It's six a.m. On the dot. I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's been absolutely sh leg shattering, so we're all shat assed. Um, environmental science people, you'd love it. There's a lot of meteorolo ah, meteorology, geology stuff going on, and I don't know any of it. Look, look at this fake snow stuff. Maybe some salt or some shit. Anyways, we'll catch you on the top. See you in a bit. that my legs never been this destroyed in my life I'm in so much pain right now I can barely see the car still mate if you ever want to climb Donyo Lingo or whatever the fuck this mountain's called if you're ever in the area just don't fucking do it alright just don't do it Right, the time is 9.30 a.m. So almost, I'm um, almost at the bottom. So it's nearly 12 hours of just straight walking up and down a fucking huge mountain all through the night. Walking through blistering winds, scorching deserts, climbing to the tallest bloody room in the tallest bloody tower. It's fucking not fun. Never has a sight been so welcoming as this one. Oh my days. Harry, how do you feel about your climb today? I will never ever do anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I have no words. It's hellish. <laughs> but fun. Um, <laughs> We were up there this morning. And we'll never be there ever again. <laughs> Celia, how would you describe your climb this morning? Uh, challenging, sure. Horrible. Would you do it again? Tear inducing? Um, <laughs> no, I'd happily never again in my life. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I did it. I... Come to Tanzania, folks. Yeah. Climb up on your leg. Jamma Mamas, it's your boy Shane. Sea dog. 
see dog. Nice um, so we left. We're still driving by Aldonia Lingai. We just left the campsite. We're all a bit miffed because what we thought was 15,000 Tanzanian shillings, which is the equivalent of like $7. Yeah, it's £5, $7. Turns out it's $15, which is 35,000 shillings. And so we're a bit annoyed that we have to pay that. And this place is fucking expensive. So if you're in the area, just don't. Just don't, don't, don't be in the area. I think we've worked out that climbing Aldonia Lingai with like wildlife management fees, gate fees, the cheapest campsite that we can go out and get. If you exclude the $15 lunch that we got shafted into, this whole experience costs $210 for two nights. And there's no other reason to be here. If you're not going to climb Aldonia Lingai, there's absolutely bugger all around. Yeah, which, there's... Which really makes the manage wildlife management fee hurt because there's no, no wildlife. wildlife here. So, that you, if any uh, government officials who subscribe to my channel, in the Tanzania. And we know you're sort, watching. Yeah, sort it out. Sort it out, guys, because I've got lots of fans and they're not going to come, all right? Sean's, Sean's followers will, will not turn up. Yeah, Shana's, get on it. With respect with respect to the people who work here, everyone we've spoken to, all the government officials who are taking money off us, look, were very, when, when we expressed our frustration, they, they're really understanding. One of them even said, yeah, it's killing tourism right here. Because so, this is the guy who we have to pay $35 a night for for the wildlife management fee. Honestly, there's, like, we've seen one eland, and I saw an impala yesterday. That's, that's all we've seen here. So sort it out, guys. Anyways, um, our, our road trip is probably coming to an end soon. We're going back to Arusha, forking out more money for PCR tests, and then we're going to try and make our way to Nairobi soon. But it's a nice Thursday night at Via Via in Arusha, so we're going now. Catch you on the flip side, trainers. Alright Mama Jammers, um, we're in the middle of nowhere, as per, and the brakes have stopped working, Harry's just been driving for the last, two hours, <laughs> last half an hour, at the start, though, no, no brakes, so the handbrake doesn't work anyway, and the handbrake doesn't work, so um, now we're figuring out how to fix it, which is a classic millennial problem. So, um, if you find out that four Britons died in Tanzania, or reverted to cannibalism, see that see getting eaten first. What? No, I'm not as juicy as anyone else. That's good. So we're just throwing the, this thing with Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so our braking issue was a little bit more complicated than um, no brake fluid, it was fucked up brake mechanism, completely shorn off, so now we're doing some serious problem solving. Ding fit is so good. Can you not see it anymore? No, it's underneath here. Deodorant and cable tie. Basically, there's like this rubber seal thing that's about that that wide underneath here, and that's loose. It should be fixed to like a brake thing here that's obviously been shorn off and broken. Every time we add brake fluid, brake fluid into it, it just kept pouring out of that. So we got a fucking deodorant cap, which is exactly the same. We size. tried every single cap in our toiletries yeah. bag and found a deodorant, deodorant cap. cap. Fits perfectly and creates a perfect seal. Hopefully that works when we fill it up again. And we just cable tied this back onto whatever this rod is. See all the brake uh, fluid. When we pour fluid in now, it won't just fall out the bottom. Cameron's filthy. Oh, my stuff in the middle of my sideline, and ladies are still trying to sell us stuff. Like, seriously, bro? Okay, so we are moving again, but we're not stopping. Literally, the brakes aren't working properly. We're gonna try and get to the nearest town, buy some brake fluid, and then just razz it down to Arusha. And then if, if that works, and we get our PCA, PCR results, we just send it up to Nairobi and get it fixed there. A bit worrying. Seeing as we keep losing parts of our car, it'd be useful if we could see behind us. 
but no, we've also lost the mirror. Africa! So we've made it to, what's the place called? Londonio. Longido. With absolutely no brakes at all for an hour. Um, now Cameron's fashioning some plastic wiring to block up one of the brakes. This has completely fallen off. So we're going to go try and go on one break all the way back to Arusha. Wish us luck. So everyone's yeah. always asking how you feeling, but no one's ever asking how Sean's feeling. So <laughs> I'm, feeling Sean. I'm feeling hopeful right now that we can get to Arusha and we can go on this night out. Yeah, at this point, I'd be happy to get a PCR done. I left my flash on. <laughs> how are you feeling right now, Harry? Uh, pretty bored. Yeah, pretty bored. Cool. Celia? I'm fine. Cameron, how are you feeling in there? Yeah, <laughs> Dusty. 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 Okay guys, after many trials and tribulations, we stuck the thing fell off, so we stuffed the pipe with a metal pole. And we've attached that pole to this with the rag and some wire. And hopefully that is stopping the brakes fluid coming out. And just to add to our troubles, we've got a flat. So, we wanted that African adventure, and we got it. And I am, Cameron's filthy. Way filthy. Filthy as well. How's my ponytail? I bet it's gross. Uh, you can't really see it. Yeah. Well, I had that in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> What a sexy beast. Okay guys, um, so we're moving. We're actually in the car. Driving to Arusha, should take us about an hour. The brakes seem to work with our Duracarly fucking... I don't know what we've done. Literally shoved a stick into it or something. Just shoved a pole in it guys. When in doubt, shoved a pole in it. Anyways, if we make it to Arusha, when we, when we make it, we've got PCR tests to do still, so the fun never stops. Anyways, see you guys. <laughs> okay guys, so uh, our road trip is officially over. We've uh, got into Kenya. The car is fixed safe. Uh, hopefully we get to Nairobi tonight, open house in front of the telly, Liverpool are going to win. <laughs> Barcelona are going to lose. Okay. Ah! Yeah, I'm an influencer. I've got like 12 followers. <laughs> Alright guys, it's Boris Shane signing off for now. Jerusalem, I can't me.
Kuami au kulana Kilondolose Zuhambena Dauyami Ali kulana Busoami au kulana Kilondolose Oh, 